Hey everyone, Sam here. Today I want to run through a technique for identifying where the most expensive function and most expensive line of code is in your JavaScript. This is helpful for cases where you have code and you're interacting with it and it feels sluggish, or maybe you're clicking a button and there's a lag and you want to figure out why it's slow. So let's jump into the technique. Here's an app that I've been working on for a while now. Uh, it's a simple painting app that lets you draw with emojis. It does the normal things like brush picker, size picker, undo and redo. Now when I was interacting with this on my phone, I noticed that the undo button felt a little slow. When I would do this, it just felt kind of laggy. So let's figure out exactly what's causing that lag. To do that, I'll go over to the performance tab in Chrome DevTools, I'll record, and I'll do my action. Now that we've recorded our profile, let's take a look. So right away, I see that we have these peaks of yellow, which means that we're doing a lot of JavaScript work. So to investigate where that cost is coming from, I'll first select the area where I have that yellow, and then I'll expand our main thread, and I'll also expand the interactions. So the interactions are showing us that we have a mouse up, and then we're doing a bunch of JavaScript. To see what JavaScript is eating up our time, I'll use this bottom-up profile viewer. The bottom-up profile viewer is going to give us a view into what in this selection is actually taking up the most time. By sorting by self-time, we'll see what individual call is actually accounting for most of the work. Right away we see this function proto.paintAtPoint jumping right to the top. So we know that we're spending a lot of time there, and then next we're spending time in draw image, which is actually drawing the image to the canvas, which is somewhat expected. So let's click right on the source code, which will take us into the source view. Now there's something showing on the left here, which I like to call the perf gutter, which gives us an idea of the amount of time spent during our profile recording at these individual lines. So by looking at the function, we see that 375 milliseconds were spent just right here at setting a source of an image tag. This seems somewhat counterintuitive to me, but I thought that, oh, okay, maybe I'm recreating an image each time and there's this cost associated with it. So if I used a technique like caching the images instead of recreating them, I bet that would result in a big win. So that's exactly what I did. After identifying my primary cost, I went back and made a change. So let's look at the measurement afterwards. Here's the app afterwards, and here's a profile that I did recording that undo and redo action. And right away we see that our area up here at the top, we're spending a lot less time in JavaScript. These peaks are much shallower. And zooming in, we see that our frame dropped to 14 milliseconds now. And if we go to this bottom up view with our selection, we see that that old call is completely gone. Our newest high cost item is this function draw image, which is to be expected. So by using the technique of the bottom up profiler, self time sorting, selection in the top heat map area, we were able to identify exactly where the time was being spent in our JavaScript and then make a change accordingly. Hopefully this was helpful. Let me know if you have any questions, thoughts, and I'll leave some more details below in the description area. Thanks so much.